Well, hello, Texy88 here, and welcome to another review. And now, after having looked at the Spectrum 48K version of Space Crusade, now I'm taking a look at the Amstrad CPC version. This too is based on the Milton Bradley board game of the same name. And, it, and, and like the Spectrum version, Gremlin Graphics brought, uh, were responsible for publishing this in 1992. Choose, uh, choose chapters, choose mission, missions expansion, well... I don't have any expansion discs, so the bottom one's out of the question for me, so... I'll just choose my faction. Blood Angels, Imperial Fists or Ultramarines. I think I'll pick... Set up. I do apologise that it's in French. Um, that was just happened to be the version that, uh, that came about, but I'll pick the Power Sword and Power Glove just like I did in the Spectrum version. It's a Now that one I've just picked, it's allowing me, it's allowing me to uh, to get an option to re-roll one of the dice again if it's not to my liking, and I, I get to pick the weapon that I wish to apply it to. I think I'll, I'll make it the missile launcher. It does obviously mean that I'll have to make sure that one of my marines is armed with a missile launcher in the in the next screen, though. But that goes without saying. As they are, I, I tend to have one. I tend to have one of them armed with the with a bolt. Um, just one of them armed with the bolter, anyway. So I'm happy with that. Right. So that's my faction set. Enough to choose a mission. Seek and destroy, or f find and destroy, literally. So I've got to find and destroy the Dreadnought. Do you? The minimum score required to to succeed in this mission is is eighty points. Again, it's saying I need to refer to the manual for all details. Again, that could be a as I said in the Spectrum version, that could be a means of getting around around piracy. Well, it, it doesn't look like it's a Spectrum port, although I would have preferred it if there could have been a bit more in the way of colour. At least it's got sound, like not like the 48k Spectrum version. Not exactly the fastest m movement speed in the world, but hopefully I'm, I'm determined not to make the same mistake that I did on Spectrum One later and leave a no, leave a poor soul stuck it is stuck in the airlock for all eternity. So I'm I'm going to get all my men out of there on this first go. So hopefully that should avoid that issue. 
Now, normally, I wouldn't be able to move the the characters armed with heavy with heavy weapons six spaces, but because of one of the uh, advantage, you know, because of the uh, the orders card that the that I that I picked at the start of the mission, I I I can now move any of my characters six spaces. Normally, Bell and Bell, the guy I've just moved, he's got the bolter, and and the commander would would under normal rules be the only ones who could move six. something over on the right there. I wish it showed you the actual bit that's highlighted on the map. Ah, two blips there. Well, all my men have moved now, so I can't do anything more. Press fire. Appuyez souffre. Psychic attack. Who is that affected? The only thing is because it because it didn't actually highlight um on screen no uh, no uh, I don't know which which of my my marines has been affected for this one turn I guess I'll find out what I think it's which whichever one I won't be able to move with I, mean, I don't really see the point in these rocks. They, all they do is get in the way. Well, I destroyed that. And as in the Spectrum version, it goes into that isometric 3D view for, um, for battle action. I'm going to go over here. I always get worried every time I feel like I shoot with the bolter because it's such a rubbish weapon. As I was saying, it's so easy to get naught with a bolter, it's, un it's unbelievable. Ah, good. Now the Plasma gun's a pretty good one to have for this kind of thing. Now I'm going to see if I can take with the plasma gun. I can fire in any of the eight main uh, dire directions, and as if I roll enough, I can destroy multiple. Uh, uh, and the multiple enemies, which in this case are rocks, so with a single strike, whatever I roll will be affected by the whole the whole direction in which I shoot. I'm going to shoot to the right, and hopefully, if I roll one or more, I'll be able to take out both of those rocks at the same time because both those have an armor value of naught. So I have to roll higher than an armor value to be able to. Yes. So I destroyed both of them because they're both in, or they're both along that same row as I shot at them along. Ah, oh yeah, he's already moved. So Roberts, where's Roberts? Oh yeah, there he is. He's the one that's highlighted. So movement with him.
Come on now. Why does that bit have to be so slow? Nothing. Stevens. Where shall I put Stevens? I think I'm going to back up uh, these guys with Stevens. Now, can I get line of sight to those? No, I can't. Not quite. So I'll just end my turn here. Oh, secondary mission. Destroy the only android on board. So that's a secondary mission that I can... Uh, um, uh, I believe it's optional if I do that, but I'll get... I think it's 15 bonus points if I succeed in doing that one. 30 bonus points for the primary mission, which was to, to locate and destroy the Dreadnought. Actually, no. I think I'm going to... Stevens, see if he can do any better. If you roll enough, you might even be able to take them both out. As I've mentioned in my Spectrum video, the assault cannon that I've just used allows me to spread shot however much I roll across multiple uh, multiple different enemies. I rolled two and I only needed to roll one or more to destroy a rock, so because I only needed one to destroy the first rock, I was able to use the remaining one to destroy the other rock. So now... To me, it's, it's not easy moving around without a mouse. It, it, it. Nothing showed up there. I wish when you click, when you, 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 you know, you when you actually clicked on a on on the head of one of those uh, those um, people in your group in the bottom right corner, it would actually scroll over to where that person was because yeah, it would it would have just made it a bit more user friendly. of course because um it's too difficult to do hand to hand with a marine in the oh. it didn't make any difference in that regard you useless penis <laughs> Now I'm going to see if I, I might still be able to destroy that rock with the missile launcher, but I'm, but I'm going to deliberately aim at a, at a square the, at this square. Other, other, otherwise, I risk uh, destroying um, destroying my uh, other marine if it gets caught in the blast. 
you will score. You can roll the yeah, re roll this die again. The idea is yeah, the square which I aimed at, which is the one my my pointer is currently pointing at, will get the the total of both the dice uh, while the while the square around it gets the highest of them because the highest was three and I only needed one to destroy the rock. It um it got eliminated. Had I put the had I actually put the centre of it on there, then that would have been bad news because because it would have meant that this square would have been hit with a three and that would have been enough to destroy my own marine. So that's why I deliberately didn't aim at the square which actually had the rock in it. And I it's a, the miss, missile launcher is a powerful weapon. You have to be really careful where you aim it, especially if there's a danger of your own marines getting caught in the blast. Thirty-seven goes remaining. Nothing. Okay, that scan came up empty. I just wish they'd walk a bit faster. I mean, it's not like it's a graphically complex game or anything like that, so I don't understand why the movement's all so slow. to hear where my other men are. What? Why can't I... Why isn't it letting me move with him? I haven't moved him. Why is it not, not letting me move him? feeling my, my commander got affected by a card of some kind. I can't select him at all. With any luck, that was only 36 turns remaining. I guess, I guess uh, on the previous go, it, it must, my commander must have been affected by, um, by an air enemy event card that prevented him from being able to do any kind of movement or attack. But if if an alien creature attacked him, he would have still been able to defend himself. He'd... I'll do a scan here. Right, something's there. In that room in that room down there but I won't be able to do anything about that from uh, in this turn because none of my marines are close enough
there's something there. I don't think I particularly want to find out what that is. I think I'm going to back off with that guy. To go over to these guys on the right because I haven't moved them this turn yet. I didn't leave them and got in the airlock at the start of the game this time. So at least I've got my full complement of, uh, of Marines. Right, all five of my men have moved now. Macau, what could that be? Now, is that a Gretchen or an Orc? One, that's not enough, it has to be three or more because all my men have an armor value of two. So I think I'm going to switch back to that guy and well, I'm, if I roll high, I'm just going to see what these actually are. So that's a Gretchen, good. And what's this one? That's also a Gretchen. So Gretchens have an armor value of naught, so I have to roll more than naught in order to to destroy a Gretchen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move into the, into this room. Gretchens can move eight spaces, but they're they're fa fairly weak things, really. I'm hoping I'll be able to roll roll two, then I'll be able to destroy both Gretchens like I did with the rocks earlier, with this assault cannon. Two or more, please. Yes. And now I've got now I've got two. I've got two. I've used one of those three to um, to destroy that Gretchen. I've got. Uh, I'm going to use another one on this, and the other one's going to have just going to have to be wasted because I haven't. There's no one there. There's there are no other enemies in line of sight that I can use that on because that door's that door's closed and and there are no other enemies that this that this guy can see. So I'm just going to have to waste that. Three things have just come into view. So, a 
orc, another orc, and I think this is an orc as well. No, there's Gretchen. So orcs and Gretchens look almost identical. The only difference is that the orcs are, the orcs have green head and cyan bodies, and the Gretchens are the opposite, cyan heads and green bodies. Not that similar to look at from this above angle, but the. Um, my commander can't actually shoot them because he doesn't actually have a weapon to sh that actually shoots and and um, he's not in a position to shoot and so the only ones that haven't done anything at the moment are these two Don't think I can. Don't think I'm going to be able to shoot them with that weapon. No, I can't. They're not. In, they're not in line, and and of that I can't get line of sight to that Gretchen from there. Is in line, but not in line of sight. So that's out of the question. Ooh, there's a, another blip just there, which wasn't visible. All my men have moved now, so. What's that gonna be? That's an orc, I believe. Two. That's not enough. It has to be more than two. One. That's not enough either. Two. Not enough. It has to be more than two. That's definitely not enough. Yeah, orcs can move up to six spaces. Gretchens can move up to eight spaces. Orcs can take a bit more flack than Gretchens. Ooh, they're all bunching up. That could be potentially bad news. Especially if I'm... You are not seriously going to take on my commander hand-to-hand, -hand, are you? No, no, can't. They've already done their attack. Right. You people are going, you three there, I'm hoping, are going to regret bunching up like that. So I'm going to move my missile launcher guy right here. No, I just need to... I'm just going to fire... That square. Yeah, I'm definitely re-rolling the zero again. Now the, the other the um, that orc there wasn't destroyed because remember I said that the the squares surrounding the one that I actually aimed at only get hit with the higher of the two dice because the highest um, die rolled was only one and I need to get more than one to destroy an orc that's why that didn't die. Didn't manage to roll enough to them for that. I 
think I'm going to back off with this guy. to hand with this orc I think oh you got me having a giraffe well neither of us harmed one another because we both rolled zero oh. well, big problem with this game is it can be exceptionally brutal I don't really want my guy wandering off alone, so I'll get him there. Especially as there are lots of things in there, so. I don't hold much hope for, um, for Bell being a great deal of use because he's using a bolter, and bolter's a pretty shite weapon. It's worth a try. Ah. The chance of getting naught with a bolter is unfortunately really high. Just realised I haven't actually moved with my commander yet. Um. I think I'll move him down there. One men moved. He's moved. So is he. So is he. And so is he. I can tell when they've moved because the movement icon here is ghosted, so I can't really do anything more. So end turn. Press fire. Two isn't enough. Two, that's not enough either. Oh shit! Bollocks! Four is enough, unfortunately. You bastard! You got four with two... two light weapon dice. That is rare as rocking horse shit. You absolute Outer complete wanker. So who's the guy that's died? Oh, it's my guy who had the bolter, Bell. I wish I could say I mourned him, but it's a bit hard because the bolter is a shite weapon. <laughs> now the question is, can I actually Can I actually... No, I can't, can I? So... But I can still move through them, so I can just get out of there and that area and... and then fire at them from a distance. No, 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 I can fire them without being in danger of getting caught in the blast. Of course, I'll aim it at this orc. Oh, you've got me having a freaking laugh. Yes! Oh, they're all dead. Around squares hit by the highest of the dice, which in that instance was three, so they didn't stand a chance. No, I'm even more glad I backed off with that guy after what happened to the term, 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 
to to Bell. The chances are I would have lost my plasma gun guy had had I not backed off with him. But it does, however, mean I'm going to lose. I lose five points because every marine you lose costs you five gets you five points deducted from your final score. gonna scan with this guy. Oh dear. What have we here then? So there's something there. And there are two things there. But all my men have moved so end turn. Thirty two turns left to find the dreadnought. To Gretchen. You're not going to kill anything with zero, I'm afraid, Gretchen. Right, so now I'm back in my turn again. Well, I'm no way I'm taking on a, even a Gretchen hand-to-hand. -hand. I, I would not want to get the embarrassment of me rolling zero, which unfortunately for Marine is very easy, and him rolling a one and killing me. Not a chance in bloody hell. I think I'm going to fire at that one. Maybe we roll the zero. Bye bye. to go with the plasma gun can I position myself so I can be in line with, with that grit and chin yes I can place him here now to fire at the grit chin this direction Yep. Yeah. Oh, you have to get ab above zero to destroy Gretchen, so that was just what I needed. Now to move my guy with the assault cannon. I think everyone's moved now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, the commander hasn't moved. I didn't move him because I didn't didn't want didn't want to do that at the time. Here, I think. Thirty-one turns left to find the dreadnought and perhaps find that and the lonely android. Again, another thing I've noticed that even was even a problem in the Spectrum version is that the sometimes the AI of the uh, the CPU controlled aliens is a bit skew whiff. I mean, surely they could have done something a bit a bit more than that. It's almost like they're trying to attack through. No, I won't move him first. I'm gonna 
get the commander to open that door first. But he's closest to it and he can move beyond it. Oh, there's something there and there. But he can't shoot them though because he doesn't have a way ranged weapon. So we've got an Chaos Marine. I don't know what that's armed with. One Chaos Marine is, can quite often be armed. Most Chaos Marines are armed with a bolter, other than well, but there's usually one that's armed with a missile launcher. I'll see it up. I'll position this guy here and see if I can take him out. Right. Can I get a line of sight to him? Yes, I can. The light coloured floor panels show where I can trace line of sight from my character, and he's just within that. You've got to be joking. This has got to be a three, otherwise. <laughs> Like I said, this game can get exceptionally brutal with some of the. There's so much luck involved with, with the rolls of dice that it's unbelievable. Right, so I can move this guy into that room as well. now. Yep. 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 And as I said, my commander can't attack them because he doesn't have a ranged weapon. So I've just got to end my turn here. 30 turns left. Damn it no ammunition so i believe that's for my net i'm tr i think that's the one which turns which means that i he'll be armed with a bolter now which isn't ideal because he had a missile launcher i think that's what the no ammunition card does oh, thank god for that two it has to be three or more moment of truth in damn it the yeah, that was indeed what pad munition no ammunition has done it's turned it's turned robert's missile launcher into a bolter that isn't ideal because the bolter is a shite weapon Also, the only bloody one in which I. Oh, maybe I'll have a crack at him. It is possible, but it's just very rare with a bolter because uh, because of the numbers that are on the um, the light and weapon dice, the six sides, and the numbers are zero zero zero. Zero one two. Whereas with the heavy weapons dice, it's zero 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 one two three. Or is it zero zero one two three four? One of the two. But either way, it's a lot harder to get th the required three or more to destroy this chaos marine with a bolter. 
not like it would have been with the missile launcher but still I can try I can try it it's just very unlikely as I was saying is this the guy with the plasma gun yes it is so if I move him to where I can put myself so I'm diagonally in line with these guys so I'll put him here on that square there now to fire along that diagonal row I'm hoping I'll be able to take both of them out now I, for this one I just for the chaos I mean I've just got to, in order to take both of them out I gotta make sure that I roll no less than three because the chaos marine has an armor value of two just like my my, my faction members do you useless penis oh god oh well I'll try taking this you know, this chaos marine on hand to hand five well at least I got rid of him he was easily the most dangerous foe out of the ones that were visible interesting thing will be if I move my assault cannon guy to that square whether it's in in a place where I can still get line of sight to that Gretchen or is it sorry it's an orc Gretchen's at, yeah can I shoot him from there or is my commander in the stopping me from, damn I can't get line of sight see it's on a dark colored square so I, I can't I can't shoot that orc from from there so nothing I can do but end my turn no, I, at least I wasn't affected by anything on that one. <laughs> you really thought you stood a chance you dumb shit <laughs> Ah, naught. No! Dead. That was the guy with the bolter who used to have the missile launcher. So now two of my faction members are dead. That is not ideal. And that's putting it mildly. Right, this guy's got the plasma gun, so I'm going to position myself in line with both of those and try and take them both out with in one fell swoop. Right. Just gotta they're both the ones an orc one's aggression, so as long as I roll two two or more I'll take them both out. Yep. They're both dead. Where this dreadnought is. What's that? Is that a Chaos Marine? Oh, it's a Chaos Commander. Armed with a missile launcher. Oh dear. I'm going to have to be really careful. Well, I'm going to have to have taken out that rock, so... Can't move him, because I've already moved him. So just my assault cannon guy left now. There will do. 
still haven't seen either the neither the dreadnought nor the android. There are two things in that room down there. Twenty eight turns left. Something about an android there. Oh, that's hot. He's going to lose one health point. My commander's lost one health point because of that um, attack with that missile launcher, I believe. Okay, why are you going down there? We're over on the right there, and you've just gone into that room like. As I, like I was saying, I, I don't know, is that Chaos Marine and a Chaos Commander? Yeah, see, uh, because I got caught in that missile launcher blast um, and, he, and three is one more than two, my commander lost one of his six health points, so he's now only got five health points left. take him on hand to hand his hand to hand ability to know better than a regular marine so it's two light and weapon dice against against my two light and two heavy four so that's the chaos commander dealt with shame I can't pick up his missile launcher to give to, to one of the other oh yeah of course the guy that had it is dead now It's tempting to. F Actually, maybe I will because I might be able. You yeah, know, I might be able to roll enough to be able to take on the uh, the Chaos Marine afterwards. Then again, maybe not. <sighs> really roll zeros. Oh dear me. Where is this dreadnought? As I said in the Spectrum review of the Space Crusade, the dreadnought looks like the a bit like the Ed 209 from Robotop. Is that the ro oh, that could be the Android. Two, that's not enough. I think that's the android that's just gone next to my commander. Oh no, he's coming back out. Shit. Oh shit. He's lost two health points. My commander's lost two more health points because that that is indeed the android I could tell by the colour of the dice that he rolled. Oh shit! Now Larry's lost another one, you bastard. My commander's only got two health points left. can't walk past him for some reason even though I was able to walk that other guy past, past the, um, when, when I had that missile launcher guy right 
right, let's go on Stevens. Try and try and take out that android. <laughs> Pathetic. I think I need to roam roam. I think it's more than more, more than two that I need to roll for an android. See if I can do. Oh, you use this bell end. You absolutely useless bell end. Now I can't bloody do anything. Nought. That was the android having a go. Um, when do using a gun, the android uses um, uses three light weapons dice. It's just hand to hand that it uses two heavy weapons dice. So I really don't want to be take taking on an an android um, hand to hand with anything other than my commander. Now, first things first, I'm going to try again with the plasma gun since these two are kind enough to be in line with one another. This has got to work. That was a bit further along the uh, um, corridor. Oh, God, of course. No. I better move this guy out of the way, otherwise I can see him getting killed. attack that android hand to hand. Yes! There's no way you can get her high enough. I completely trounced him. So that's the secondary mission completed. I've destroyed the android so I'm going to get 15 points for that. There, no, I can't. He's not even haven't got line of sight. I'm gonna have to move where I can get line of sight. Now I can fire at that. Just gotta get, I just gotta get three or more. Yes. What a good job you can't run out of ammo in this game. Right, that's everything now. 25 turns left to find the Dreadnought and kill it.
else down there? Gretchen. And what's over here? An orc. Of course, I have to do that before my turn starts. Oh my god, there's something serious in that adjoining room. Move faster. left on and still I haven't seen that dreadnought yet that's an or no it's a Gretchen another Gretchen that's an orc You're seriously going to go, um, no chance. can be a bit irritating when there are a lot of uh, aliens to move with. It takes a while. But no chance. Soul suck. And what is interesting is that the soul suckers are called gene stealers in the original board game. I don't know why they suddenly be became soul suckers in this game. Was there some kind of strange licensing issue? The problem is, uh, like, uh, soul suckers are every bit as good as uh, as androids that's so doing hand to hand. So I definitely want to make sure that it's. Uh, Um, I don't understand why in this version I'm not able to uh, to open and shut doors uh, to when it's my turn. I've never been given that option. It's always ghosted. Ooh. One of those blips is now visible. Not that one. But I'll see what I can destroy with my assault cannon. I'll aim at that. For oh, 
I needed both of those to destroy that Umbo and both of those two points to destroy that Orc, so that wasn't exactly ideal. not with Dreadnought, so... <sighs> Come on. What the hell? Why did it pause just then? There we go, they're ganging up on my commander. Oh no, no, that's not the commander. Oh shit. That's my guy with the assault cannon there. Part of the CCAI in, the, in the, this version. Soul Sucker should have tried to go for one of the regular Marines instead of just hanging around the commander. Again, why that pause? Oh, yeah, um, well, it's my turn now anyway. First things first, take out, try and take out this soul sucker because he's a boss. He, he's like the android. He's too rare. He's too heavy. Weapons dice. Um, oh dear. Ah, that's enough. That's. I'm glad he can. The, the soul suckers can move eight squares tops and. Uh, I'm gonna scan first in case the. Is that the dreadnought? Yes, there's the Dreadnought. That's that's my mission objective. Um, right, I'm not doing hand-to-hand -hand again for these. It's because Marines are rubbish at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Right, so I'll fire this Orc. You use this pranny. Well, there's no way I'm hanging around. I can't really run away anywhere, which whatever happens, there's so many you Gretchens and Orcs about, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Definitely not doing it hand to hand though. 
You are for five minutes. I mean zero, I'll give you zero. Oh dear, that I could be in a very precarious position now because I, I needed that to work. Uh, we both roll naught in that hand to hand attack, so. No, naught. Has to be above two. Two has to be above two. Not enough. Oh shit. Oh no, that's my commander dead. The Dreadnought has two heavy weapons, a bolter. And the, the heavy weapons are also effectively its hit points. If uh, for each um, for each um, point um, point rolled above its uh, armor value, it loses um, a hit point. Or for each point rolled above the other in hand to hand. Oh God, how am I going to do this? Shit. Four. I've only got one bloke left now. No, I haven't even got him. I'm not. I'm completely wiped out. He wiped out one of his own team then. And another. And another. Oh dear. I died heroically by the looks of things. Oh, gosh. But I did get 86 points, so technically I I did get the 80 points required to succeed in the mission. The problem is I because of, I don't know whether that counts because not even one member survived. So that's Space Crusade for the Amstrad CPC. In, in all fairness, because it's a strategy game and turn-based, just like the board game upon which it's based, it, it's pretty hard to, for it to royally screw up. The only real gripe I have with it is that uh, that the movement is, is, is a bit on the slow side, which does drag out the game quite a bit. I, w I also would have preferred it if the if the graphics weren't largely monochrome. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a Spectrum port uh, for the most. Um, I mean, that that upper view doesn't look like a Spectrum port, although the the three uh, D isometric view for for battle detail does unfortunately look like a, a Spectrum port, which is a bit disappointing. It, I really would have preferred it if it could have made better use of the Amstrad's capabilities, not just been a Spectrum port for the, those parts in particular. And it, and I don't understand, and I don't understand why they couldn't have used more colour to represent the dice being rolled. I mean, even the Spectrum version actually had red dice for what were the red dice in the original board game, and yet it was just. Uh, it was just cyan and a darker, a slightly darker version of cyan for the two different types of dice. And what a cop out! So I'm going to give the Amstrad CPC version of Space Crusade seven out of ten. Would have scored higher if it wasn't so. Uh, if a it wasn't a uh, half spectrum port and b it it. It, B, it wasn't so slow in doing movement, and C, it, it didn't cop out with uh, with the use of colour and make better use of the Amstrad's cap the CPC's capabilities. So, hope you enjoyed that review. Catch you on another video soon. Texie88 out.